Isaiah 55. Talk to us, God. Oh, I hear you. You already had it covered. Oh, all right. God's got us covered. He, we just got to get there. And then, we, then he has to be so gracious to us if we stay thirsty, he'll tie the two together. But if we get arrogant and, you know, don't be thirsty, don't want him no more, you'll stay blind. You'll never be able to open this scripture up. You'll be saying, what he's talking about? Water, no money. You see? You'll be, have a whole different perspective. But we understand because God gave us an understanding, didn't he? And I'm so grateful to him for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not second to none and neither are you. That's right. Correct me all day. Say what? Would you put a T there? <laughs> Jesus. Bless you. Bless you. Because when you get through, I'm still who I am. Mm. Isn't that right? Right. So in 1948... Things started to change. That's what we were in Romans 11, 11 just now. Yes. I closed my Bible to it, but you might still have it open. Till the fullness of the Gentiles come in. And so now there's a great falling away right before our eyes. And we don't comprehend it. We're trying to go grab them and bring them. In. God said the love of many shall do what? Grow cold. You gonna make them love when he said they gonna grow cold? You gonna make them love? Well, how you gonna make them love? With things? You gonna give them some uh, new houses to live? What you gonna give them? You see what I'm saying, brother? Dad? What's gonna put that love there? Glory to God. And so he says, he says there. This is what the revelation he gave me people's eyes and they can't see it even though it's written in the scripture. The same thing happened to Israel when God was turning them, turning them away when he was turning away from them to the Gentiles. They didn't even know it. They were looking for, a, they were so fixed on looking for a king to bring them up as a nation again. To rule in the earth. When he's got something greater than what's here on earth, God told me another week, he said, This stuff that you see is temporary. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, Spiders and foxes are going to be living in Beverly Hills and Brentwood. Yeah. <laughs> and coyotes. <laughs> that, yes, my, yes, my dear sister. That's what's going to be in those mansions that you're trying to give your last dollar for. <laughs> But he said, come and buy yes. our salvation that doesn't require money. Amen. Amen. So you see those scriptures there? That was so good. We got 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1 through 3 saying it's going to be a great falling away. A falling away means that you was once in. But somewhere along the way, you fell for the okie doke. <laughs> You started deceiving yourself. You started believing what you saw out there in the world. You, got, you, you forgot that the world didn't have no hope to begin with. And you say, come out from a moment. But then you got involved with it because you, you, for a moment you looked away and it messed with your mind. Say, all that's out there is the lust of the eye. The pride of life. Look what I got. Look where I live. I was in the gas station last night. Uh, praise the Lord. And this lady was holding up the line. We're through. This lady was holding up the line. I was the line. And, um, <laughs> and she's talking about how she no longer live in a certain area. She's not out there where she don't have no bars on her windows and, uh -huh. you know, no policemen driving up and through. That's all you got to look for in life. Listen, let me say something to you that the scripture says. If this, if in this life is the only place where we have hope to live in a neighborhood where you don't have to put a bar on the window, that's your hope. He said, we are all men most miserable. Thank you, God. It don't matter whether you have to have a bar up or a bar down. Huh? That doesn't change who you are. Come on, hallelujah. So true. Uh, you greater. You transcend. Hallelujah. You're Thank larger you, than this life. 
and I give God praise. And if you and you and I start walking in that, it's gonna you gonna see the difference in your life. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Thank God for this lesson. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you for tender mercies and love and kindnesses and the victory that's already won. Yes, Amen. Amen.